In this screencast, I'll show you how to debug a web app using the Firefox OS simulator. Let's get started by installing the simulator. The simulator is distributed as a Firefox add-on, so we'll download it from addons.mozilla.org and follow the prompts to install. Once the simulator is installed, it automatically opens the dashboard. If you want to follow along, the various revisions of the app are in the Firefox OS simulator walkthrough repository on GitHub. You can pick up the walkthrough at this point by starting with the Where Am I-1 version of the app. First, we'll add the app to the dashboard by clicking Add Directory and selecting the manifest. As soon as we add the application, we see there's an error message. This error message is pretty clear, and if we look at the manifest.webapp, we can see that it's missing a name. Add the name field to the manifest file, save it, and click Refresh in the dashboard. This time, the dashboard should tell us that we have no errors and should run the app. But when you click the button, nothing happens. Let's use the web console to try to diagnose the problem. Click the Connect button in the simulator dashboard to open a web console directly on your application. The message tells us that Where Am I is null. This is obviously a problem in our whereami.js script. Comparing this with our index.html, the problem is obvious. The button is assigned an ID of where-am-i, but in the JavaScript, we're trying to use where am I. So let's fix that. Now the app starts up without any errors. But when we click the button, the map doesn't appear, and we get a new message in the web console. This message is logged by our whereamijs script and indicates that geolocation API has returned an error. We can use the JavaScript debugger to figure out which error it was. Click where it says add watch expression and type error.code and you'll immediately see the value 1. According to the geolocation API documentation, 1 means permission denied. This is an error web apps get if they have not requested the geolocation permission. Looking at the manifest.webapp file, we'll see that we didn't ask for permission. Save manifest.webapp and click Refresh in the dashboard one more time. This time the app runs, and when you click Where Am I, it asks you to share your location, and if you allow it, the map doesn't appear. And we get a new message in the web console. This message indicates that the MapQuest API is not loaded correctly. We can use the network monitor to figure out why. In the Network tab of the Developer Tools panel, successful requests are green and failed requests are dark gray. We can tell that requests for the MapQuest API failed during DNS resolution. Looking at the index.html file, we see that the script tag points to the wrong domain.
Let's fix this bug by adding the missing i to the domain name in the script tag. Save index.html and click refresh in the dashboard one more time. This time the app runs, and when you click Where Am I, it asks you to share your location, and if you allow it, the app finally displays the map. Now let's use the style editor to change the style in real time on the running app and save it back when we're satisfied. Click the Style Editor tab and select style slash style.css from the style sheets list on the left. Make some changes to the CSS rules. The new rules will be applied to the connected app immediately. Let's set a dark background color on the body tag and also paste in a style for our button. Now you can click Save just below the file name to save it back into the project. Here we see that a new style sheet has been created with our changes. Suppose you want to sell Where Am I as a paid app in the Firefox Marketplace. You will need to add code to ensure that the application has a valid receipt. Mozilla has released a small JavaScript library which will help an app check its receipts. First, let's add a script tag to index.html to load this library. Now modify the onclick handler for the button to invoke the library, only showing the map if the receipt is valid. Receipts are cryptographically signed by the Firefox Marketplace, but you can use the simulator to install a variety of test receipts into your application from the pop-up menu in the dashboard. Install a valid test receipt, press the Where Am I button, and see that the receipt validates correctly. Install an invalid receipt and observe that the validation fails, causing an alert box. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. The simulator is a great way to test and debug a web app before you try it on a real Firefox OS device. For all the details of what the simulator can do, see the full documentation on developer.mozilla.org.